Find someone else to talk to. Hey, hey, you. What do you want? I'm looking for a guy who was supposedly seen in the area recently. His name is Ray. Whiny little shitbag. Reckons he's an outlaw. Do you know him? Tell me about him. No, no. No, no. Doesn't matter to you. It's just business. Forget about it. It could be that we are looking for the same guy. You are, you say? Well, well. Have you seen him, then? Ray? No, I've not met him. Lucky you. Let me know if you meet the little piss streak. I want words with him. All right, you can stop there. In the name of the Hooded Crows, and with a power invested in me by the warlords of Goliath, I hereby challenge you to state who you are and what you want. You should know that Goliath is eternally vigilant in its search for Alps. Do I look like an Alb? Well, albs are normally pasty white, but I've heard some of them are painting themselves to look normal just so they can come in here and cause trouble. All right, all right, you can go in, but all weapons must remain sheathed. Start anything, and a paladin will turn you to ash faster than you can say, I wish that Duras guy hadn't sent me here. Oh, and don't steal anything, or flash technology around. I don't expect any more or less from you. Understood. Good. 
then I welcome you in the name of the Berserkers. Who are the Hooded Crows? We are the warrior clan of the Berserkers. Our warlord Ragnar, proven in battle, worthy defender of Goliath, leads us as we stand to defend our cause from all who would oppose it, from within or without. We stand as guardians for fairness and justice, equality and order. All who wish to join the Berserkers must answer to Ragnar. Who is Ragnar? How can you not have heard of him? Ragnar the Fierce? Ragnar, son of Bajar? He is the highest warlord here in Goliath. Literally, he lives up there in the ruins from the Old World. Who is in charge here? Weren't you listening? As long as Thorold, the great pilgrim and master of all magic, is away on retreat, Ragnar, warlord of the Hoodie Crows, is in charge. Warlord of warlords, mighty and just, he is an example to us all. I wouldn't go knocking on his door unless you're serious about joining us. But you might get lucky and see him in the lower quarter. He likes to keep an eye on things personally. Right, got it. That's why Duras sent you here? To be recruited? You better join us and not the outlaws if you want to live. Follow the laws, impress people, and Ragnar might see fit to let you become a Berserker. Break the laws, and we'll break you. So, your leader Thorold is not in the city? No. Master Thorold, the Pilgrim, glorious, great, and wise, has gone into retreat. There he seeks answers. From there he will return to bring us victory. He will return as soon as his mission is successful. Until then, he has given Warlord Ragnar command of Goliath. Okay, I've got it. It sounds like you're expecting trouble. Outlaws, clerics, and now the Alps starting wars, and that's before we talk about mutants. Where have you been if you don't think there's trouble in the world? But don't worry, you'll be safe here. No Alps getting past me. Is there somewhere I can stay in Goliath? Maybe, down by the tavern or with the cultivators. Try the lower quarter. There's room there for honest men. Pay your way, or work for your stay, and you'll be welcome. We are the protectors of Magalan, and we welcome all free people here. So, what can I do during my stay? Can you handle a weapon? Yes. Then you'll find work. We're short of people since the attacks began. This place doesn't sound too safe. Where is? With the Albs looking to tear down this whole world. You're short of people? Everyone's lost people to the Alps. Workers, cultivators, warriors. They're all looking for more hands. You'll need to earn your place. But there are tasks for all hands. And the shards to pay for them. You use shards as money? What else are you going to use? Everyone uses Alexa as money. And don't start on with trying to barter your way with raptor shit. You'll need Alexa or decent old world scrap if you want to make a deal. Maybe later. Not now.
Are you my backup? What backup? Oh, for the love of her. There's no one gonna send me some relief. I need a piss, a sit down, and a different fucking view. That a syphilitic raptor bags is one man supposed to guard this area or no? What's got you so angry? Angry? Me? I've been ordered to stand here, balls swinging in the wind, with rockboards loose out there, with albs crawling around in the undergrowth ever since that raider crashed out to the west. Oh yeah, why would I be upset? Because I can't think what I've done to be left here, so I can have my manjules gnawed up by a pack of mutant canines. It's like they want this town to be overrun. There is a guard at the entrance. Yeah, one. Frightening individual I might be, but I'm not gonna stop a pack of rap bars or a full alba salt on my own, am I? You know rap bars will eat anything? And I mean anything. I need some damn backup. Alvar was supposed to be guarding the seedling field. But can you see him? No, because that lazy, duty-skipping strip of an ass rag has disappeared. You couldn't go and find him, could you? If I'm gonna die, I might as well do it with company. Did you see the Alvarator crash? Sure, I had a ringside seat here. Whoosh, blam, serves the bastard right. Flying around up there, raiding shit on other people. Got some of his own shit back from someone, didn't he? And did you see who shot the raider down? No, someone went foom on the thing down it went. Whatever happened, happened quick. Goes to show relying on technology is pure madness. Nobody would get me in one of those infernal machines at any rate. Machines are against nature. You see what comes of them when it crashes out of the sky. Was it a berserker that shot the raider down? No. No way. If someone from here had done that, they'd have had a parade. And they'd never have stopped talking about it. No. Which does make you wonder who it could have been. What are seedlings? What are they? They're world hearts. What are world hearts? Heart and soul of the berserkers they are. Magalan's very own mother's tent. Shove one of those in the soil and just watch the land around it grow. All this here was wasteland till the milk of mana came and changed it. You feed a seedling with mana and when it's mature, a world heart will clean out the elix and bring the ground to life. Elix poisons the ground? Elix poisons everything. But if we plant enough world hearts, we'll make the whole of Magalan green again. Unless those wretched albs bomb everything flat first. What is mana? Magic, isn't it? Magic. But you want to know how it works? You'll have to ask Caldrum or someone. I just see the results. There's magic out there, and you dig fields. You must feel pretty pathetic. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. Why should I help you? Because you want to be safe. Because you don't want to get close and personal with an owl, or a rock boar, or worse. Because I'm the only guy holding back the whole of hostile Idan myself. You are right. Oh, thank the pilgrim's sweet smile. Finally. I knew you looked like a good one. I'll find Alvar. I was hoping you'd say that. 
You could start by asking Droke. He's probably on duty over at the town gate. If anyone knows where Alvar is, it's Droke. Those two are best buddies. Maybe later. About your friend Alvar. What about him? Where is he? He should be standing guard. How should I know? He comes and goes as he pleases. But if you're gonna start looking for him, try the tavern. Ask Oren, the tavern keeper. He could have seen Alvar. Right. Yeah? Not now.
You're new here, right? You're an incomer? Tell me, what do you think about our laws? Do you think they should be strict or just used as guidelines? Strict. Otherwise, why have them? It's time you had an education. Why are you asking me about laws? Well, you're not one of us. So, I'm surprised you know about our laws. Listen, can I ask you a favor? As an outsider, you're not bound by our laws. Not as much as a true berserker. Who are you? My name is Ornir. I'm one of the workers at the pit. We decommission forbidden technology here. Making Magalan safer one machine at a time. I came up with that. Not everyone understands what we do here, particularly incomers. But as Amrek said, technology is seduction. The easy path will lay us waste. And so, here we are. Removing temptation from the weak-minded. What help do you need? I believe I saw someone in the pit. Then he escaped. He's sort of hanging around outside town, down that path near the gate. I think he's an outlaw. I'm only guessing, but I think he must be after the equipment we throw down there into the pit. If it is really one, then he has to disappear. Why would an outlaw be down there? Stealing. Stealing, of course. Bastards want nothing else but to make themselves rich. And the pit is where we throw all the bits of technology once they've had the helix removed. Worthless to us. But an outlaw? They'd try and sell maggots to a corpse, wouldn't they? Why don't you tell the guards? No, no. They're... If that's a real outlaw, they couldn't deal with it. They're not top-notch, that's why they're here, not on the front line. No, no, I wouldn't want to put them in danger, but you, you look like you can handle yourself. So, why don't you take care of it? I, well, I'm not allowed to leave here. I've got to do things. I'm a technical expert. Angram wouldn't want me to endanger myself. I mean, if he was a piece of technology, I'd be there. The Elix would be out. The law would be satisfied, but... Look, Angram's already watching me. He hears I've been near an outlaw, I'm dead, or exiled. What exactly do you want me to do? Kill him. The outlaw. I'd recommend you do it from a distance. Don't get close. I'm certain he's up to something. I will take care of the outlaw. Good. Great. Thanks. I saw him by the cliff outside the gate into Goliath. You know, below the pit. You should check around there.
Well, there's a face I haven't seen before. Newcomer, aren't you? You have a problem with new faces? Problem? Me? Oh, I never have problems, only solutions. And I reckon we can solve problems for each other. What problems? Of the financial kind. The kind where I've got money I'm just looking to give away, and you have empty pockets to fill. I'm listening. I'll bet. You look like the listening kind. Except maybe being impaled up the unmentionables with a hot, rusty poker. But... And I'm getting to the point. Here's me, right? A loyal and honest berserker. Someone who knows what's right, what's legal, and what's not. Then, there's a newcomer like you. Well, any newcomer has the potential to make honest mistakes when it comes to legalities. And if you did, then I, as an honest berserker, could help put such mistakes right in a way that earns us both elixir. trade illegal goods? Illegal here is legal there. Law is just a matter of geography, isn't it? So, if you were to get your hands on rare, legally questionable items, I could, being a loyal berserker, take that trouble off your hands. Rare items? Rare is where the Alexit is. You could spend your life dreaming of Alexit, or spend your Alexit living your dreams your choice. You're looking for rare items? I help people with problems. When someone discovers rare items that are legally questionable, I solve this problem without the need to take up the time of our busy official authorities. No fuss, no overstretching our legal authorities. It's much better for everyone. And all for the right price. I just do as any honest, loyal, law-abiding, practical berserker should do. What items do you trade? Trade? No, no, that would be illegal. No, no, I don't trade. I run a sort of lottery. One where you pay me for a chance to win the item of your choice. I have to gamble. You could say that, but once you offer the right price, the odds are you'll always be a winner. I only have a limited selection. We are in Goliath, and the laws make a lot of items illegal. Well, you know what they say. One man's forbidden is another man's profit. Of course, as a loyal and honest berserker, you won't catch me saying things like that. About these rarities. Yes. What's the catch? Catch? What catch? You'll earn a handsome amount of elixir. Where's the catch in that? Do you take me for stupid? No, no. Stupid would only cause me trouble. Who wants stupid? Smart is what I need. Smart knows how to keep everyone happy. Smart knows how to keep the laws in perspective and turn a healthy profit. And I can see you're smart. 